All right, welcome to video part two, six four, controlling fire. Use your knowledge of chemical reactions to think of ways to control a fire. What if you remove one part of the fire triangle? For example, you can get the fuel away. From, can you get you can get the fuel away from the flames? You can also keep oxygen from getting to the fuel. Finally, you can cool the combustion reaction. How do firefighters usually fight fires? They use hoses to spray huge amounts of water on the flames. Water removes two parts of the fire triangle. First, water covers the fuel, which keeps it from coming into contact with oxygen. All right. Oh, man, that sounds like a good qu quiz question. How does water put out a fire? Oh, because it just does isn't a good enough answer. Second, evaporation of the water uses large amounts of heat, causing the fire to cool. Without heat, there isn't enough energy to continue the combustion. Therefore, the reaction stops. Home fire safety. Every year, fire claims thousands of lives in the United States. If you know how to prevent fires in your home and what to do if a fire starts, you are better prepared to take action. You may save your home or even your life. The most common sources of home fires are small heaters, cooking, and faulty electrical wiring. Do you have any small heaters? Do you have any sketchy looking wires? The fires that cause most deaths start from carelessness with cigarettes. Don't smoke. Fighting fires. <clears throat> you can fight a small fire by using what you know about the fire triangle. For example, carbon dioxide gas can smother a fire by preventing contact between the fuel and oxygen in the air. Therefore, you can put out a small fire on the stove by throwing baking soda on it. All right. Baking soda decomposes when heated and releases carbon, di carbon dioxide gas. Oh, yeah. How does baking soda put out a fire? Nice quiz question. I like that one. Or you can use the cover of a soft stand to cut out the flow of oxygen. All right. Let's check out this. Check this out. This is a good picture of a fire safe house. Do you guys got a fire ladder in your home? Well, if you live upstairs and the fire is burning downstairs and the smoke is coming up, without a fire ladder, you either go down and burn or you jump out the window and break your legs if you're lucky. Nice, better, best to have a fire ladder. Do you have a smoke detector? It'd be a pity if you were sleeping and you died of smoke inhalation because you just didn't know it was happening. Are matches out of reach of small children? Do you have a fire extinguisher? right next to the kitchen for example. If you've got a fire extinguisher you can put it out right away. But Mr. Worley, fire extinguisher costs about fifty to a hundred bucks. That's true. But your house costs maybe a hundred thousand dollars plus all those beautiful pictures. Man, do you, ha do you know the emergency phone numbers? Do you know how to call the firefighters? Is your water heater in good condition? Is your furnace in good condition? What about a smoke detector downstairs? Seriously guys, this is no joke. Make sure you've got this. <clears throat> Talk to your parents about it. All right, let's move on. Page 215, please. Continue reading with me. <sighs> A small fire is easy to control. Oops. You can cool a match enough to stop combustion just by blowing on it. A small fire in a trash can may, may be doused with a pan of water. If the fire spreads to the curtains, however, even a garden hose might not deliver enough water to put it out. One of the most effective ways to fight small fires is with a fire extinguisher. But a fire that is growing as you fight it is out of control. If the fire is out of control, there is only one thing to do. Get away from the fire and call the fire department! Okay, how do you know, what is it, how do you know a fire is out of control? Uh, but a fire that is growing as you fight it, it uh, is out of control. You know, if if one of your if there's a fire in your home and someone says, "Don't worry, I got this, I got this," but you see that the fire is growing, hit him on the head, knock him out, and take him home to get him out of there. I mean, not really, but seriously, get to get him out of there. Okay, preventing trouble. The best form of fire safety is prevention. Figure 18 shows some features of a fire safe house. You can also check your home to be sure all the flammable items are stored safely away from sources of flames, such as the kitchen stove. Fires can be dangerous and deadly, but many fires can be prevented if you're careful. 
Understanding the chemistry of fires gives you a way to reduce risk and increase your family's safety. All right. That concludes our lecture on 6-4. Now, I want a full page for this at-home activity. I want a sketch of your house. I want to know where every fire extinguisher is. I want to know that there's a route. I want to know that your parents know how to get out of a fire if they need to. And you. All right, my intrepid students, I can't wait to see you. On the next class period, let's review our objectives. List the three main things necessary to keep a fire going. Fuel, oxygen, and heat. Don't be confused if I ask you what fuel is. If you say something that burns, I will get you. Explain what you should know about the causes of fire and how to prevent a fire. Uh, be careful. <laughs> uh, you can put out a fire with Oh, sorry, by attacking one part of the triangle and have a plan. All right. Hey, you going to see something cool? Go to YouTube and look up Grease Fire Explosion. Totally cool videos there. Oh, also, if you're interested in a little history, look up fire bombing. You might think the nuclear bomb was bad. Even worse was the fire bombing of Tokyo, and I think they did it in Berlin and Dresden. Maybe. All right, guys. Peace out. I love you. So does God. Keep it real. Be ready for quiz.